Hi, I'm Dr. Charlotte Higgins. I'm an Associate Director at Arup and I'm a special reporter this year for C1 Study Committee, which is System Development and Economics. We had our general discussion meeting yesterday and we had lots of really interesting discussions and insights shared from around the world. We had a total of 80 papers submitted and accepted and a, a wide range of both prepared and spontaneous contributions. So I'll start off with uh, preferential subject one, which was uh, steering the energy transition, achieving top-down targets through bottom-up investment decisions. So in this preferential subject, we discussed the reform of planning, market, and regulatory processes, processes both from a decentralized as well as centralized planning approach. We also looked at how to align lo local, regional, and national decision-making within the planning process. In terms of whole energy system modeling, a number of uh, interesting discussions were held around how to best represent. The second preferential subject was on flexibility as pivotal criterion for system development. And in this preferential subject, we discussed a range of different flexibility options from uh, electric vehicles to batteries to coupling with the gas and heating sector. And we looked at the modeling of those and also in some cases, uh, learning was shared from the Im implementation of these flexibility options. Uh, we noted that there's some low-hanging fruit that can be used and deployed to achieve a, a level of f flexibility increase. However, there's still a need for a greater understanding of other sectors, their drivers, and th their technical requirements and commercial incentives to help us align that with the electricity sector and, and achieve greater optimization. The NEON project that's developing in Saudi Arabia, this creates a great opportunity to test and model different flexibility options. And I think there'll be a lot of learning that comes out of that that will enable us to better optimize uh, technical and economic drivers for flexibility. The third preferential subject was on resilience as a pivotal criteria for system development. And this stimulated a lot of discussion around risk definition and risk metrics and targets. And ultimately, resilience, the value of resilience needs to be reflected, the value of resilience to consumers, because we're going through a period of great electrification and consumers are going to be a lot more reliant on electricity. So the value of resilience to consumers is expected to increase. We also had some discussion around emerging grid solutions that can support improve resilience so this includes battery storage and HVDC or rather hybrid DC AC solutions and, and these can provide a range of benefits to the electricity system both under normal and contingency conditions but they come with their own challenges as well so the first preferential subject was steering the energy transition so achieving top-down targets through bottom-up investment and in this sub preferential subject, we had a lot of discussion around the reform of network planning processes, regulatory reform, market frameworks, and from a perspective of both centralized and, and decentralized planning. And these are, are, are planning trends that we're seeing emerging quite rapidly in, in, in different ways in different countries and how these facilitate the energy transition. We also discussed the roles and responsibilities of different players and how we can align decision making at both a lo local, regional and national level. And then for decarbonisation pathways, we discussed how best to represent and model um, risks and uncertainties, the impact of extreme events and greater coupling with other energy vectors and how this can, both from a technical and economic perspective.